Hello, everybody. I'm just about ready to get started. So we are back with more Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, aka PSO. <laughs> Can you believe, chat? We're at 128 out of 163. We've almost made it through 2014's Olympics. But yeah, I think we're mostly just going to be doing rare item hunts, so we'll see what people want to play. As always, we're probably going to start with some warm-up TTFs as we wait. No sense in really doing box runs during the event. Want more of a enemy dense run to do. We'll be starting in just a second. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. Wait for more people to trickle in, of course. I did, end up, I did end up sleeping right before the stream. I was like, yeah, I feel like I'm going to be too tired to do a full stream if I don't sleep. But we'll see where it goes. Oh, jeez. Guess I'll warm up with green ID. I don't like to do Hugh Castile solo into TTF. I mean, I can practice it, but I don't really want to practice that on stream. It's kind of one of those things where, like, it's technically doable. I'd rather wait till I hit max ATP before I do it on stream. I've read Handgun to help me through the tough parts of it. Oh, there's a lot of people in the lobby today. Interesting. Like, looking at this, I would have thought I was in block one. We'll do a nice little warm up, I guess. Yeah, this character getting a little extra XP is fun. But I predominantly want to play characters that are like basically gearing towards red ring. So that would be Hugh Cass, which would be Sky ID, uh, potentially some White ID Ranger. Of course, we have a Red ID Hugh Cassiel. Yellow ID, Rawcast. Maybe blue ID for uh, respective tomorrow. I don't know why D band buffed. That was really not needed. Oh, the Justy was the name of this sniper I was trying to remember. Where it doesn't have demons, it has devils. That was what the other player had yesterday. There's like a Walt gun, but I was also thinking of this one specifically. Rip Rappy. Yeah, solo Hugh Castile is kind of weird. Just kind of like I, I, I need to learn how to deal with it. Either I learn the drill launcher strat or I just stick to red handgun. And honestly, I wasn't having a lot of like, I thought the drill launcher would be a bit easier to do. But it has like a bit of a weird timing. Like it doesn't feel free to me. Like spread needle is free. Gazond is mostly free. As long as I use the quick menu, it's not that bad. But drill launcher requires kind of a weird input. Like if you just combo as quick as you can, it won't work. And if you go too slow, it doesn't combo and then it messes it up. So you do have to put like a significant delay, I think, in the second to third hit. But yeah, it was really not clicking for me. And the fact that it takes like eight, nine minutes just to get to that point again and try again feels really terrible. A 25 hit Rianov. Is that in theory useful versus the other boss? How am I out of room? 
I was gonna say, I barely have any weapons. Do I really just have that much junk of my character? I mean, I guess I could always dump evade material. It's not something I'm really gonna miss in particular. Since I'm not looking to do an optimal run at the moment, let me go back. I want to see in theory. I've never actually bothered using the Renov gun against the worm. Oh well, in Pyramider. Guess I could sell diamonds. I do want tri fluids for the run sometimes. Star Anomizers I don't technically need either. Let's get this identified and we could try it. Why not? I didn't come with any ABs though, which is a bit of a shame. So let's see if Red Ring Rianov 25 hit is good enough. It is noticeably weaker than the Cannon Rouge. However, it is more accurate. I don't recall if the special has harder special accuracy. I'm gonna guess by the number of misses at a special accuracy. Hmm. Makes that kind of interesting. Because you need it more for its piercing special. I love how unnecessary the Kenny Rouge is there. Listen, chat. Sometimes you just feel like doing a pick your own strategy for how to clear rooms. And that one just amuses me. Welcome, Daddy, for show. Hope you're doing well. How did that not kill? Six damage. That's so sad. Darn you, Shifta. We meet again. See, I think it would need a pretty significant amount of hit to land. Is it, if Romar can't land it with Red Ring and all this other stuff, I think it's going to happen. Definitely not multiplayer. I'll humor the game. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Oh, of course I don't get invincibility when I want to test things, of course. Pretty convenient. So it'd be something like this. I mean, it shoots quickly, I just can't seem to land the damn hit, though. Unfortunate. We'll wait for it to beach itself again. Yeah, I, I would need a pretty high hit re for that to be useful. I just wanted to test it. So the answer is, even with, like, medium hit, it's just not able to land, like, at all. You can see it's just miss, 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 miss. I mean, and it's Ramar. Like, how much more accuracy do I need? So if I need, like, 50 hit for it, that's just kind of unrealistic. <laughs> anyway, we'll weaken it up as we go for the real kill. See, if it had, like, hard accuracy for the pierce, then that would be fine. I would say that would be much more of a meta choice. I'm assuming the normal shot does not pierce. Oh, it does. Oh. Disregard, hold on. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad, then. Interesting. My bad. Sorry, some guns don't have the ability to pierce. I guess that one always does. Interesting. Oh, you know what? Now that I look at the color, you know what? I should have been able to tell. That's a hell gun. I never pay attention to the specials. So if I drop this, right, it should be demon or something. Oh, dark. Excuse me. I meant hell. 
Yeah, that's a pretty bad special. That would explain why. That would explain why. Okay, I mean, that seemed okay. So if I was playing, for example, Raw Cast, if I had a zeroed Rhianov, that should be good enough, right? Because, like, they have about 211-ish ATA, and I had 140 accuracy on a heavy hit. So that means even on an all-zeroed Rhianov, I still land on the Raw Cast. So that's actually not bad. I'm going to make a note of that, I think. When we go to talk our, about our official Ranger items. It's how much I don't use the gun. I just assumed it was Pierce, like we were doing, uh, what was it called? The drill launcher. It clearly is not. Uh, yeah, might as well just activate. See, I could see that with like an okay amount of A-Beast. I could see me actually using a zero to be enough. So I think like you would need a little bit of hit for multiplayer as raw cast, but Ramar I don't think needs it at all. Interesting. And given that that comes from Dragon Boss, yeah, I think that definitely needs to be under a special mention. I would say the ease of getting that item is much better, because, I mean, you're going to be doing green ID for uh, TTF, potentially. So if you're not looking to do episode 4, it would be another alternative. Welcome, Hellcleave. I was experimenting with Rhianov. I finally got one with hit percentage. Very dumb. That is not what I was aiming at. Thank you, game. <laughs> nice try. I held left on the stick and he aimed towards the camera. How does that work? That was cute. Game's got to catch up to my inputs. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's doing well today. Yeah, like Ron Marl would not need hit percentage on it. Getting one with 25 hit is kind of funny. I guess my other question is, for this boss... Humor me for a moment. Again, we're not looking to do an optimal run here, we're just experimenting. Okay, so that does triple pierce. I mean, I'm not gonna do it over charge arm. That is interesting. I guess, ironically, it could be useful against the dragon before you get, like, real cannon rouges. Yeah, that'll go into a special mention later. I'll make sure to pause after this so I can make notes. Yeah, the only thing I'm not sure about is when the dragon goes in the air, how good it is at it hitting the dragon. I imagine not very. I imagine it could get two hits, but I don't think it's going to be like a quintuple hit like Cannon Rouge. Where meanwhile, the worm is pretty stationary, so it's easy enough to do. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. We'll be doing whatever rare runs people want to do. So please let me know when we're done with this run, what you would like to do. I looked at chat, that was my fault. <laughs> 
Sonic Heroes chat. Goodbye, Dildies. You know what? I might as well kill this Centaur thing since I'm here. No rares. What a shame. Okay. Back to a more serious clear. So I should have enough meter that if I take a little bit of damage, I should be able to use that to dodge a Grant if I need to. Perfect mayhem. Oh, Tiggy coming in with the raid. Welcome, Tiggy. Hope you're doing well. Today we experimented with Rihanna. But well, we're pretty early in the stream, so welcome Raiders. Don't mind me, just doing some boss stuff in PSO. What's how you doing, Tiggy? When I get misaligned slightly, because then that happens. Unfortunate. That's fine, we got skate though. <laughs> Let's me line up with the boss anyway. I'm kind of happy when that happens, honestly, in single player. It saves me a lot of time. Right, I'm not gonna commit. I could have committed to the damage there. I felt like I was gonna get hit. Oh, you're so dead. GG. And if people healing me when I'm using DF, you know the usual. Oh, poor Tiggy. I was thinking of you yesterday. The forces were threatening to heal uh, Hellcleave <laughs> when he's playing Hunter. Or Hellcleave. Okay, did I get Mega Mid's ability? I did. Too far. Come on, get closer. Oh, are you really gonna troll me like this? You're gonna stay full screen? Wow, that is the worst pattern. Holy, double full screen? Talking about a waste of time. Try again. Can you give me a little better pattern this time? Just slice through me and miss. Thank you. Are you serious? Another full screen pattern? Anyway, this is what would have happened had the ball stayed close. Double short pattern. Mm. Oh, see, it's not good. That's not tight enough of a turn. I'm gonna do this to dodge the grants. I think the thing is, like, I think to dodge that, I think I actually need to be in the center of the platform. I talked about it a little bit this yesterday. I think I'm so used to being up close to land the shots that I'm never in a good position to actually dodge that attack. Seriously, I missed the opportunity to hit the boss. So sad. Okay, I'm going to weaken the boss a little bit. Okay, yeah, next time it's targetable, I'm killing it. Or we get, we got triple, triple short cycled. Holy... That is incredibly unlucky. This is a big waste of time. I don't even want to hit you. Yeah, that was that was such a bad cycle. Speaking of bad cycle. What a jerk. <laughs> that, was, that was an atrocious cycle. We had, I think, less than 50% of the time it was within range to Heaven Strike. And then it triple short cycle. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad in terms of luck. We had a good prior phase. That was good luck. That phase was terrible. I'm just rolling my eyes, chat. 
Block two. Dango has found. What what did Dango find? Vegito, apparently. Congratulations, Dango. From Gilchick. What drop what ID is that? Let's learn today. That is... I... Is that episode two? That has to be episode two. That's why I don't know what that is. Oh, it's Sky? You got Sky ID Ajito? Oh, because you're going for Gurren. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, what the heck is you... <laughs> I was like, I'm looking at that. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> what run is that? I'm like, there's no way. But congratulations again to Dango. Welcome, Dango. Yeah, we're talking about you. Doing some spaceship over there. Dango's like, what's what's Gurren slash Shuren? Don't worry. I got I got a better find. <laughs> so yeah, we'll put that other gun away. I'm, I'll make a small note. Oh, speaking of which, I need to make a small note. Um, Rinov, I'm in. Discount, Worm Boss, Weapon, A Beast, Preferred, Hit, Percent, Not Needed, Worm Boss, Rangers. Yeah, I mean, I would want to double check maybe the calculations specifically for multiplayer raw cast, but raw seal more likely than not does not need it. Raw Marl definitely doesn't need it. Raw Marl definitely does not need it. So having a 25 hit version of that is kind of funny. Poor Dango. So what would people like to run? We're done with experimentation slash waking up slash warming up. A little bit of rare week left. I think the other day we did uh, Cannon Rouge's Red Rings. Do we figure out what Dango was playing quest wise? Do we join Dango on the hunt for a Gurren? What quests were you even doing, Dango? I'm just curious. How about a Galatine, says Supersonica? Yeah, I could probably do... Probably could do that if the chat wants. I do want a Galatine at some point. What beat is it? A little bit of odd beat. Lost Bind Assault. Double checking if I played that one before. I think I have. The name sounds familiar. I've looked it up before, so that means I've definitely played it before. Hmm. Do you, do you go for the full quest clear or just the first floor? Oh, you play Spaceship One. Okay, that makes sense. I feel like I was hunting Del Sabers for something before. Oh, it was V501. <laughs> I don't remember. I was just curious what runs gave it. So I was looking that up the last month, I guess. So that would be Sky ID. Or White ID for the Gurrens. You know what? I'll humor. I'll humor Dango. <laughs> Let's do a couple of those. We'll just do first floor, and then we'll do, uh... I think after that we'll do Galatine. Chat once. I'm just kind of curious since I just came up in the ticker. C-Bank 3, I think. 
They only have one Sky ID character. Let's see who cast. I've been meaning to play him a bit more. So let's do two of these runs just to get an idea of what it is. Because I feel like otherwise people will be like, where's episode two? <laughs> we we barely touch episode two. Remember this quest was fine. I don't remember anything like super offensive about it. It isn't like some of the tower quests where I just go, why was this created other than the hate on mankind? Be sure says I could join for a little, gotta kill fall first. No worries. So we'll see who's available. Oh, it looks like there are three people waiting. So we have Hellcleave dancing, Dango. And I'm assuming that is in Parameter. Let us make a game, Ziggy. Let's do two of those, see what it's like. I so rarely get to play the Who cast. He's at least max uh, accuracy, but his ATP needs work. Yeah, he's got my 45 hit Jaya. He kind of needs it. Get rid of these so I don't accidentally do these. in the order is something like this. Uh, should probably bring a real weapon. Oh, he just straight up has a 50 hit vice. Oh. Interesting. Today I remembered. <laughs> just like, oh, he just, he just has one. It's just in his inventory. It's fine. Um, Essa could bring him with the Discovery Man. I don't really know what this quest needs offhand, so we'll bring in a couple items randomly. And then, I guess if I have a spare Centurion, I just put that on, right? Because he's not max luck, yeah. Or Heavenly Ability. Yeah, I don't see a spare Centurion. I'll just give him it. I think I was using Proof of Sword Saint on him earlier because I was doing a lot of uh, just Excalibur hunts. I think Heavenly Ability is probably fine. That'll cap my luck. Yeah, so he's got Smart Link, Heavenly Arms. He's going to have a Jaya, a Machine Gun, Single Target Weapon, Disco Brave Man. I think that's an okay mix. Assuming that'll be fine. So yeah, we'll see. We'll probably rotate who's playing a little bit because I do want to make sure people get a chance to play today. I need to decide if there has to be like a queue system or something. I might need to look into that now that we have uh, a lot more viewers than when we started. Scrap 86 is there space later. Can I jump in? Sure. Yeah, that's what I want to figure out. I'll cleave. I'll jump out whenever. Sure thing. Sure thing. Just let me know for Scribe and Bishimu which characters you're interested in uh, picking. Just because that will give me a good idea of what to expect. Wow, I actually went to the right quest first. I went to the right category. I did it, chat. I was like, wait, it's a lost item. Context clues. It should be a retrieval. Since it's spaceship, I know it's Blue Door. You will not trick me, Blue Door. I've learned. Raw Marl, okay, pretty solid. Welcome, Promethean. I was just talking about you the other day. Hopefully you've been doing well. Out of range. Omar or Rockass, nice, nice. Once roll over, I'll probably level the Hugh three, Hugh cast 3 to 20. Nice, nice. It's possible we'll just help level some new characters right towards the tail end. We'll see. I mean, if there's a lot of involvement in PSO, 
I'm willing to extend this session a little bit for PSO. But hopefully you've been doing well, Promethean. We were talking about cookie runs the other day. <laughs> we're kind of laughing. It's pretty much a run brought to you by Promethean. I mean, if you want to get more cookies, that's up to you. I will never pressure you, Promethean. But I will inform you, they will be used pretty much instantly if you give them to me. Goodbye, the Sparans. Okay, I'm getting a little bit better idea where I need to freeze trap. Okay. Right now, I'm just along for the ride as the Hue cast. Listen, how happy the music is, John. Oh, see, that time I knew. I did it. <laughs> Goodbye, Pan Arm. Okay, uh. No, I'll just jaw the other brains out. It's fine. That's what I got money for, anyway. Like the giant fan. So there's a blue switch to open the prior room. So technically, from a multiplayer perspective, if we did this again, only one person needs to go for that. Nice free traps for the Dell Sabers. Ooh, that damage though. Yeah, once it starts transitioning to XP week, this will be one of the characters that'll need some love. Ooh, kind of awkward. So yeah, definitely one of the rooms. That wave in particular, I think we need to set up for. You have some cookies left? No thing, no problem for me, Thien. Well, if you're willing to give one out, I'll join a room after this. But enjoy your dinner in the meantime. Oh, well, I got a last survivor, finally. Been a while since I've seen that rare. Too bad no interesting rolls, so I'm not gonna go pick it up. Chainsawed with Gush. Maybe that one I'll pick up just because. I feel like everybody loves the Chainsaw. Thank you for the heals. <laughs> I'm like, I'm definitely gonna berserk on it. See, he has one of my better vices. So I think this character is actually decently equipped now. I mostly just need XP with him. It's not like he doesn't have a red ring waiting for him. Just gotta make sure. He's gonna say, Hulk Cleave and I, same idea. Salt Del Saber, we're like, mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Nice try, though. I figure since Hulk Cleave's been using so many freeze traps, let's start using him a little more. Give him a break. Got like 15. Where is the switch? Oh. Answer that question, I suppose.
There we go. <laughs> like that Baran's pre-spawning. Menacingly, it has spawned. Nice, it was right above my head. So what I'm thinking, we'll do one more of these, and then we'll do a big swap out. So I think there was some... I think Scribe was asking to join. I believe Bishima was asking to join. So we'll... I don't think this is a super long quest. We're not going to completion of it. So I want to play a little bit of those. So I'd like those two players to join us. Because they haven't played on stream in a while. Scribe86, I think, would be their first time specifically. Ooh, that is a lot of unfortunate Barans. Rip the freeze trap not going off. Heard the robot noise. I was like, don't give me PTSD with this enemy. I definitely killed you. Get out of here. Don't haunt me in my waking hours. So yeah, I figure episode 4 won't be too bad, and then I could probably hard carry with uh, Omar, if nothing else. Omar can do every roll. Jack can just focus on having a good time. His green ID would mean that we get Galatine. I think it was also a request from the chat. And then we could do uh, episode 4, Surface Underground. I figured we'd aid Dango in Dango's attempts. Oh, I, I dropped my Telef by accident. I have now learned to not put that there. I forget, he has way more buttons than my other characters. I'm so used to just holding buttons. So there's two paths to go. How Cleave went left. What's up here? So that's the exit. Oh, so that's the run. That's not too bad. What's in the other room? Let's learn. Probably just boxes, right? Oh. Both are just exits. Interesting. Okay. So I'm gonna go back and identify this, uh... Chainsaw. I know that is a favorite of people. It even came with hit percentage. So we'll do one more of those, then we'll switch over to episode 4. <laughs> the music stopped, it's like, there's no way he's still listening to the Olympics. I don't believe it, no one would listen to this much Olympics. I'm like, nice try. Yeah, that's not a bad quest for the resets. Oh, this is like... Flying Battery Zone or something? I do like versions of this song. I remember this being my favorite song on Colors, I think, when we were listening to the soundtracks. I think I did a good job having not really played Sonic games. Remembering where this was played. <laughs> so let's go and do one more of those, and then we'll switch over. So yeah, not a bad run. I would say, you know, I don't feel like I quote-unquote need to play a ranger in this quest, which is always a good feeling as a hunter. Is there some quests where I'm like, oh man, I'm not a ranger? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> like, I'm so screwed. But no, this one was fine. I don't think there was anything too, too crazy. Definitely Hell has its advantages here. But at the same time, Hughcast is like a walking hellbot anyway. <laughs> the point, the delete, the GG. I'm not gonna lie, I hesitated to take that warp because I thought I took the other warp. I really don't like that the lobby and the spaceship warps are right next to each other. 
I have PTSD from walking out of uh, games by doing that by accident too many times. Alright, since I have like a million freeze traps left over, let's just do this. It's very silly he has 19 freeze traps, and I know he's going to get more. What a ridiculous character. So he's already combo killing. What a monster. Oh, I missed the other one. That's a shame. So we just have to be a little more aggressive with their freeze traps, but at least we were using them. But I want to make sure that if we're doing this kind of run, I end up at like literally one or zero freeze traps and pretty much nothing in between. What's on draw? Not bad. He dodged the freeze by splitting. Next level chat. He got me. I got outplayed. He had the better iframes. Rip all those enemies. Guess I could confuse them to stop them from splitting. That also works. Is it, I believe any status ailment will work, but confuse in particular. Be kind of nice. So I learned last time only one person needs to hit the switch. So I'm gonna say, not me. <laughs> You know what, with the 50 hit vice, I could actually hit them with the third hit. That's not too threatening. Oh, oops. That's one. I didn't realize how far away they were at first, and I was like, nah, that was like a good trap placement. They're too far. I don't play cast as often as I probably should, but I recognize that. How did I target the wrong one? That's unfortunate. Thought I was lined up with the brands there. My bad. Thank you, whoever shot that. I needed that, actually. Probably Hellcleave, if I had to guess. Big shotgun. Just say no to enemy face. Sort of paid attention to where the switches were, kind of. It okay, froze one, hit another. Not too bad. Uh, I forgot which way to go. Today we will learn again. Uh, lots of Dell Sabers coming up. I still have 12 freeze traps, so definitely want to start burning these a little more. That should put them in range. Perfect. I like that I did so much damage, I didn't even need to freeze combo the other guy at all. Kind of sad. As long as the Dell Saber dies, I think everything else is fine. I'm just thinking how few gill chicks there are, and then thinking about that Ajito. <laughs> I 
Dango too powerful, please nerf. Dango already a whopping 187. There we go. Where am I targeting? Switch was above me last time. Oh, never mind, it was this room. My bad. Next time it's above me. Man, Vice is just kind of doing everything here. I've only had to really think about swapping once or twice. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and shut down this wave at least. No thank you. <laughs> I was like, D do not want, right chat? Get out of here. Silly brands. XP is okay. I could see this entering if, if this went into RBR, I think I would play it for sure. I don't know if they would or not, though. Well, that was such a good freeze position. I think Hulk Leaf hit it early, which is perfect because I think otherwise it would have whiffed. There we go. Whip these enemies. Got a Dragon Slayer, of course. Somebody found a red ring, congrats to them. Team just absolutely deleted that. I feel like I blinked. I, d I put a freeze trap down and they were gone. I wasn't even doing the deleting as the Hugh cast. Team's just that monstrous. Oh, that one didn't die. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> I thought I already died. Gotta hear Dulce Burst. That was like near instant. Love that. the worst way to gain XP and again it's not bad for a hunt. Respect it. Ease. Somehow going money positive. That is not a free strap. I ran out of free straps. That explains it. My bad. Thought I had one more. I was gonna say, what I see on screen is kind of a suggestion at that point. There's so much overlap in one spot. So I guess I should have saved a couple more traps for this room. That's okay, Hell Cleave will get me for the rest of the way. I'll kill the switch that was in the corner there. Okay. So that is the run. It's a pretty quick 60,000. I'm not gonna like power level off of this necessarily, but. For a run, it's pretty consistent start to finish. As we saw before, a Geno 1975 is a nice draw. I'll probably put away the Event Egg. I don't know how much more I'm going to play with him. I eventually should do more Sky ID hunts that are not Sealed J Sword. Just to learn them. So I'm pretty happy with his set of equipment here. Oh, he had a Heavenly Power there. I guess he could put that away for now. I think I like Heavenly Ability more. Again, just for the crit chance. A little bit of defense, some attack. I think once the other character gets rid of their uh, accuracy gun, or accuracy shield, excuse me, then uh, I'll go to town with this character. The allegedly glass cannon Hugh cast will go and be deployed. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a game in episode four. 
So if Scribe and Bishamu are around, I would bring whatever character you feel comfortable with in Episode 4. But do note, I will probably be carrying a lot of the damage. So there's a couple of characters I could bring in. Technically, I could bring in Ramar if we had like a mostly forced party. But I should probably be forced just to get people warmed up. Describe. Game is now up. Yeah, we gotta put some adepts on him as well as some shields. Oh, he doesn't have the retro cuts. Wish Dango good luck on the rest of the hunts. It's interesting to see what that hunt was like. So we'll wait a couple minutes for Bishamu. Get some adepts. Foe, Rafoe, Rabarda. Perfect. So this quest is extremely good for XP. Only thing I need is a magical piece. Do I have a magical piece? I don't think I do. Hmm. I know they're on the female characters. I might not have left one in here for me to take. Probably bring Bringer's Rifle. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I don't have a spare magical piece on this character. He doesn't- wait, he doesn't have Fire Scepter? Or does he have it on him already? Oh, okay, I was gonna say. I- I can live with Fire Scepter, that's fine. Just- <laughs> without anything at all, that's kind of terrible. Cause I might not use it just for fast casting, we'll see. It might be better just to stack and then swap in. I do need Ice and Storm for the other boss, though. Uh, do I need anything else? Got V101, so I bring his Rifle if we need to take out Gertabulu. That's not bad. I'm not sure if Bishamu is there. Let us know. Pick our items in the meantime. 50 hit draw, Gladius. Disappointing. Could have been interesting. See, we got basically everything we need. I could technically optimize by getting Magical Peace. But then again, this character may or may not even cast with it. Oh, oops. Sorry about that, chat. Did not mean to press that button. We'll give Bishamu another minute or so, otherwise we'll ask somebody to fill in the slot. Oh, dancing from Scribe. Get it into the music. So yeah, got Ignition Cloak, Afoe, so everything else is optimized, just not our Scepter. So we'll lose a little bit of damage, but the difference is that Bringer's Rifle doesn't care. How far is this character from leveling? 3.5 mil? Right. So this will be the last 20 seconds for Bishabu to say if they're here, otherwise we'll have somebody join in.
I'll do a little figure eight. Wait a little bit more, and we're gonna give a five second countdown. If somebody else would like to join in. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I feel like I waited a decent amount of time. So if there's anybody that would like to hop in for some episode four, we have a free slot. Otherwise, we'll get started in one minute. I got everything else I need on this character. Three scape dolls is a little excessive. I'm gonna put those back. Like by the time I put away the scape dolls and come back, we'll probably get started. Put away these items. Leave one on this character. Sword is inventory. There we go. Much better. Angry Stomps, that's always a classic. So, is there anybody looking to join episode 4? This is last call. Otherwise, we'll get started. I'm not super worried because Force can carry. Mostly just need help with Astarks and Zoos. I mean, if another Force comes in, it's also fine. Don't get me wrong. It ends up being big damage. Okay, so I'm just gonna assume nobody else is free. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Like the purple outfit on Scribe. So we're gonna be doing a lot of menu casting with this character to kind of optimize. And as long as we optimize our Gafoe, we should be annihilating basically everything. So Impaired Meter will basically be taking out the Babudas. Well, that is quite a mag. Uh, I guess I could start with some Rafoes. I want to. I don't plan on meleeing very much, if at all. Rare Rappy. Shoot, I wasn't sure where it was. That's unfortunate. Not that it really matters for Rare Rappy. Anyway, back to stacking. Yeah, the reason we want to stack here is the next wave takes some big damage here. We'll let the team kill those. That could be the dedicated caster. Yeah, this will end up doing quite a bit to the zoos here. Get a couple grants here. Look at that damage. Okay, we'll assist the team a little bit here. This wave is kind of annoying. Okay, I think we assisted enough. Back to Kafoe. It is kind of unfortunate. When we're down a person, we got a Kafoe stack a little less, potentially. Once it's here, the damage is pretty good. I didn't land the demons. I tried. Valiant effort, I guess. Up to die fluids. Back to Kafoe stacking. Let team take care of these. 
Oops, I got hit. <laughs> Team did not take care of those. We can zap these a couple times. So I know the next wave is weak to fire, so I'd like to keep stacking. I'm playing for the... Or not this wave, sorry. Next wave after this is weak to fire, because if I could do double fire stacks, which if they kill the Astrox fast enough is possible. Like right now, this could still work. I just need to stop getting knocked over. Get a good stack damage on the next wave. We got some damage there. I think it's still worth stacking again because we didn't even fight the zoos. Yeah, good stack damage. <coughs> Excuse me. So you know it's double ass dark, so I might as well just focus on damage here. I'm gonna debuff them. I could start stacking for Dorfon if I want to. Let the team's Excalibur slash mechs take care of those. Oh, I landed the demon. Nice. I almost killed them with. Oh, I did kill with Gafoe. Nice. Direct. Thank you, Gafoe, plus demons. Team cleaning up the rest of the enemies as expected. Good job, team. So yeah, we have one one so we could swap into our rifle if we really need to. It's useful in some scenarios. It's even playing it as mostly a pure caster versus like Excal. Just shows that you don't necessarily need great equipment to uh, carry damage. Oh, they canceled like a foe. That's sad. Slow them down a little bit here. Thank you, Gafoe. The team kill down. Yeah, we have to kind of recognize if we're not going to be able to do quote unquote burst damage with our equipment, we just start playing for the next wave. Because the Buddha's walking into fire, and even the Buddha's to some extent take a decent amount of Gafoe damage. Yeah, see that? We did half their HP. That's not too bad. Although, honestly, I'm curious if I do more damage without that equip. By just stacking more of them. We're also coming up to a wave that's not really great to stack on. But we're not going to stack here. It is the infamously terrible wave. Hmm. So we could go stack basically till the end of time. And the fast cast here might actually lead to more DPS. Even though technically the fireballs do less. Just because I could have more lingering Gafoes. Which is kind of counterintuitive. Yeah, that did more damage for me to fast cast it, which is kind of funny. So yeah, I think I'll just remain fast casting. Unless I swap in for big damage. Okay, Lord him away from the group. Seriously? Yeah, there we go. Oh! It almost hit me. That was pretty close. I don't think I have a smart link, so I think I'm missing due to distance a little bit there, which is a bit unfortunate. So I gotta be careful what distance I use it at if I'm not using Slicer. One of these. You know, trying your best just isn't good. No worries. I felt that pain to leveling the Hugh Neural. Using cookies for Uber hunts count me in. Uh, potentially. I was thinking about if I wanted to do you uh, cast specific runs to get him some XP. 
Like Hugh cast Surface Dwarf on, for example. Yeah, or leveling at all. Honestly, they're pretty fun. I can see all my spare PDs just going towards cookies. I just become the cookie collector. Not like I don't have like a million uh, PDs that I don't use. The cookie monster, pretty much. Prometheus says, no, I'm the cookie collector. That's fair. I did end up with a decent amount, but Prometheus just got way more during the event. Did some trades for cookies in my defense. We burned through them already. Ripped those like 50-something cookies. Cookie connoisseur, that's true. Yeah, what we're gonna do here is debuff into freeze. Because I think that'll help the group a bit more. And then we clean up with Razond. Event egg, nice. Hi. Uh, gather near me. Well, I'll try not to accidentally go Foley. But I will freeze these solid. Landed the demon there. Okay, my demons are landing. Again, if I use it more like a melee weapon, I'm gonna land it more consistently without smart link. Get some point. Got close. I guess Sanja just grants them. Give them the grants of death. Goodbye. Well, welcome back, Promethean. How was dinner? So many mine materials. Just want to make sure I grab them. Okay. Good enough. Did say I had cookies for you, but you were killing things. I did see, but then you said be right back dinner. I don't remember you saying anything after that. Yeah. But we're definitely mid-run. If you're talking about earlier, I saw this run when you mentioned it. That's fine. Goodbye, Gorons. I haven't decided if they should go for level ups or early ultimate levels. I mean, I have reasons to do both. I'm just thinking about it. Yeah, here, go on detonator. I mean, I think at minimum, Scribe will get a cookie, because Scribe has not played with cookie quests with us before, even though it's the first time Scribe has played with us. I guess to some extent, we can ask Scribe what at least one cookie will go towards. How late is the affinity stream going? For like another hour and a half, maybe. I mean, if there's a lot of interest, I'll go further. And always postpone Phoenix, technically. Just wherever the interest lies at the time. Although I will give a final thoughts on Phoenix no matter what. Even if we don't start the new Phoenix. I would like to get that out of the way so we could just go into the ne new game at least. And that way we said we, we were advancing the playthrough in some sense. We'll decide based off of who's here, I guess. Just have an informal vote.
Scrime says they have a spirit cookie they could use. Is there something you were looking to hunt though? I know underground pink ID is sick. That's probably the most XP you can get, period. But if you're looking for something more like tower or doing white ruins or something, by all means. It would be a shame if I had to do cookie runs all night. Oh no, how many cookies am I being threatened to give in? <laughs> that would be a way to power level. Okay, my favorite room in the game. Let's not mess it up. There we go. That poor pink ID force that I have is going to be so over leveled. It's going to be disgusting. The funny thing about the cookie runs is anytime you do want to do a 1 to 80 with a cookie run, the week doesn't matter. Like, what time is it? It's cookie time. Doesn't matter what the bonuses are. I was going to say, how many cookies do you even have left, Promethean? I'm down to two. I have exactly two, and that's it. It's not enough to do, like, a cookie run, for sure. Because it'll be, I want more PSOs sponsored by Promethean. A <laughs> group of cookies. Yeah, eat the fireball, stupid Marissa's. Yeah. I definitely want to power level. I have one more force to power level. I haven't decided if I'm going to level another character beyond that. Like, we've made the force. So we, we're committing to that character at some point. I'm just not sure when. I don't think it'll be tonight, though. I don't have my uh, setup ready. Oh, no. I'm being threatened with a nice amount of cookies. I'm not sure what that means. In the meantime, we're going to be Gafoe stacking all day long. The reason we prefer to Gafoe stack over Rafoe here is just due to the fact that we can do several thousand in the next wave. Like, look at that. It did, like, almost 1,200. So Rafoe is technically faster, but when it comes to the next wave, Rafoe rewards us greatly. Aw, oh, Snake's Fire. <laughs> Tiki's like, come again? Oh, that's funny. I actually do more damage with the faux neural with cookie, or not cookies, with uh, Gafoe stacking. That's actually kind of funny. I guess just due to the fact that she's got a magical piece, it makes up for it. Huh. Interesting. Rip faux moral then. Or faux moral, I mean. I see what Dango did there with the nice amount. So many grinders. I mean, I do need these. I really shouldn't skip those. Because I need, I think, like 500 plus total grinders. If it try counting is three, of course. I'm apparently being threatened to do a cookie run. I mean. I guess that changes the dynamic of the stream. I was just planning to go until the XP weekends. Is it diabetes from too much cookies? Maybe. We're gonna zap a little bit just to help the team. That way team can just focus on damage. Between Excalibur and mech guns, we should be good. I need to go back to Kapoe stacking. You're on your own team for the last little bit of damage. I'm gonna stunlock the Zeus here. I'm gonna make sure one dies first. Demons is failing you, no worries. It is hard to land it as the Hue Neural. Oh, it was a little too close. I could have gotten a lot of chip damage on them there. Room is up for I'm gonna be a wild Promethean. We have like at least eight minutes. I hope you're prepared to wait. We are not that close to finishing the quest. We're in the final area, but with only three people, it does take a little while. 
Clear these out. Nice photon draw. Oh, the music gave up. Nice photon crystal, by the way. Ooh, look at the damage on that Gafoe. GG to the Marissas. Get outplayed by Gafoe spam. Yeah, this should do a nice amount of damage. Yeah, that did a third of their health just from Gafoe sacks from the previous wave. I would really like to change the music, but dot dot dot. I know that I have to pay attention on the next couple of waves because we're coming into the Gurdabulu. Get rid of you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to resign repeatedly to stun like the Gorn Detonator. And that means eventually the, the Gurdabulu will die. We'll let team finish this off. There we go, there's our demon. Well, I guess we're going to have to have a conversation what to do with that many cookies. I think we talked about last time we needed approximately 12 to power level, if I remember correctly. I believe that was the number we came to with doing some other random quests to just not have to use another cookie for one level. But technically, I could make it like 14 if I just wanted to use it the two times where I don't quite hit the next level. Weak enough for the group a little bit here. I'm gonna bring a demons here. Was it more? Can somebody go double check the video? Or was it like, or am I thinking 22? Yeah, double check. It has been a while since we did it. I know we definitely saved two cookies by doing uh, Massive Attack B twice. That I remember. So I did like the early levels without necessarily wasting it there. Goodbye, Marissa's. Another event egg, not bad. out of here. <laughs> so depending on how many cookies there are, I might split my decision on what to do. It really just depends on how much we receive. I have at least two personal cookies. I have two where I could do whatever I want. Buff the team. Fifty-five cookies. That is a lot of cookies. Promethean is hosting PSO. Well, I think Phoenix is going to be delayed slightly because that's going to take a long time to get through. So we'll do final thoughts on Phoenix tonight, but I don't think we could start a game at that rate. Mathematically, that does not sound like that would make sense for a workout. Uh, I think I just need Fire Scepter. Yeah, this should be good. And let's switch over to Rifoe. Here we go. That is a lot of cookies. I was going to say, chat going to make me look up my own video to count the cookies. I know at the very beginning of the run, I opened and I looked at the bank for how many cookies we had. You still have 70 after that? Wow. I thought we I thought we reduced you to 70 already. Promethean is too powerful, apparently. Also, that worm is too powerful. Let's 
get our zaps in. You did that already at the Discord? Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that it hit all of us. St. Million went out like a boss. <laughs> I got hit, killed in Parameter. Boss is not messing around. So two forces will go there. We'll leave in Parameter behind. So we're going to make sure to swap into Rebarta Merge plus Ice Scepter for max damage. So we're going to make sure we A, we hit this boss. So we're going to go... We're going to go around the side here. Yeah, I don't like going towards the rock at all. Take the damage. We'll die mate to get back up. Ooh, careful. You're too far to one side. Tribe, you're hitting only one half of it. You have to be, like, dead center with it. Rebarda is not that forgiving. Yeah, I'm gonna wait a little bit. You're still too far over. You have to be almost literally where I am. I'm dead center. I'll do one, then we'll wait. Yeah, I want to be careful, because if you hit it when it goes down like that, that'll desync it pretty quickly. I might be able to fix it. I think I'm going to have to use a dolphin to fix it. If chat can donate after this one, I'm going to try to kill it. Because it, it's too far desync now for me to save. I'm going to do it. Hopefully this will kill. Yeah, whenever it gets desync like this, believe in dolphin, because there's no other way we're going to fix it. Not with two forces. There we go, that was a good fix. Thank you, Dolphin. 3,000 to fix is a nice buffer. Oh, did Scribe to get, get hit during the cutscene? Maybe? Can Scribe move? Couldn't tell. It sounded like it was hit almost at the same time. Thank you, Echo the Dolphin. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. The wiggle. Scribe86 got the wiggle. <laughs> so sometimes you, if you get hit right before the cutscene occurs, you just have free roam during it, which is really funny. So we like to just spam random things. It's very funny with certain head hairstyles. You see it wobble back and forth. You had a little bit of like the talisman kind of floating in the air when you moved. Like, I think I could get my bells to wiggle. Because they have little physics to them. Oh, jeez. I have so many tickets. So, we're going to go hand this in. I'm going to put away these items. And then we'll figure out... So, we'll do some cookie quests with Scribe. We'll figure out who will go in with Scribe. And what Scribe would like to do. So, think about it, Scribe. What you would like at least one cookie to go towards. Yeah, the classics are kind of like Sky ID Surface Episode 4, Power, I don't remember which ID offhand, probably purple or white. Technically, you could do Episode 1, if there's something there that interests you. Promethean is, is the cookie gatherer. So we got our money worth earlier. Let's go see how many cookies this will leave us at. I believe that'll put us at 52. There we go. Promethean testing my ability to remember character names. <laughs> oh wow, you got me from the trade window full screen. Wow, that's a lot. A sweet, tasty treat. I think someone hungry wants this. We're gonna confirm it. My inventory's full. Hold on. 
thought I put... Did I not put away the barriers? I thought I did. I did not. One second. I guess I just put away the materials. My bad. I said we're wasting time. I'm good now. 35 to 20. Oh, it was 14. My bad. Okay. We'll give Promethean potentially more PDs for cookies in the future. I love that you could like double verify. Thank you, Promethean. There's a lot of cookies. Really need to figure out what to do with these materials. So I have two there. So 14 is enough to level a character. Quick blind to find range. Yeah, pretty much with that trade window. Was kind of insane. The Glide Divine trade range. So let's see. Is there something you wanted to hunt, uh, Scribe? While we have these cookies? We're gonna have to pause and rethink everything. Seed bank, is it six? Can't believe we have the cure pie cookies in quotes. <laughs> the, the back alley deals with Promethean. I, I received his brown paper bag full of cookies. <laughs> yeah, so technically, at some point, I do, in theory, have that other character. Yeah, I, also, I love this character is less than five hours played. Look at their level. Oh, you're looking to level to 180? Well, Scribe86, I have good news for you. There's one way to level really quick. Please, please note how little time this character has spent in the game. I think it's time to bring back Valentine chat. So let's do, let's say five cookies to help Scribe86 level. So we're going to say Scribe86 is in there. I obviously have to be there because I have the cookies. Then it'll go, I don't know, who needs help leveling some ultimate level characters? Did you want to pop in potentially in Parameter with the other character? And then we'll figure out from there. Because I definitely want to rotate Hellcleave and Dango in the list somewhere, or Tiggy, depending on what we're doing. But before I hit confirm, this character is basically a beautiful untouched character only meant for cookies. <laughs> they're just, that's all they're going to do. They're, just, they're cooking for the rest of their life. There's no buying cookies and more mafias or trading favors, something like that. Okay, so we're bringing in a parameter. Does somebody need to level a character? Like Dango, for example, or Tiggy? And then eventually we need to level Hellcleave. So I think at some point, Hellcleave, if you are ready later today, when it switches over to XP week, you can enjoy what's left of the rare week, I think, where we might just power level you to 80. <laughs> and it might just be red ID. Oh, don't worry, Tiggy. We we can, we're we're going to solve that. I don't think that's going to be a big problem. But we might as well split the session into just some ultimate runs first, and then I guess we'll take somebody from level one. So yeah, I'll just get the weight off. Is always eating his cookies. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. So what I'm going to say is I just need to know who's coming in and then I'm going to select this character. So we're going to do five of these. So Scribe86 will get five raw, pink ID, cookie, pure uncut. <laughs> Halloween goodness. <laughs> so it's a parameter Scribe and I need a third commitment and then we'll do it. And then uh, I think we, I guess we're going to go power level hot stuff. I was wanting to create a white ID character for some hunts later on. Well, it sounds like it'll be Dango, Tiggy, Hellcleave for the power level from one. So you have some time, but I need somebody to join in on the ultimate runs or else the cookie's going to waste. Tiggy will take a break for now. I was going to say, Chad, I just need somebody to say the third one. For the ultimate runs, because I don't want to do it with just three people. It doesn't make sense. 
You got a force you could bring in? Okay, Dango, bring in the force. So it'll be Dango with the ultimate force. And Parameter with whatever character. Scribe with whatever character. We're going in. We're going to be supersonic racing. And then we'll help Tiki with the new character. So I'll call this Tiki Cookie. Oh, I'm in anguish. Actually, wait. Does that matter? Uh, I'll, I'll take it off for now. Well, uh, let's leave it. Let's leave it. Let's get some cookie bonuses. I thought about it and I'm like, nah. You know what, if we're, if, as long as we're not like literally level 80, this should be fine. So he still has double add-ups, heavenly HP. He's set up to do whatever. The only thing we really need is somebody with a demon mech gun or something. Or just a lot of grants. We should be fine. I gotta delete these sadly. We'll take a little more damage, but I think with the other ones it should be fine. Yeah, don't worry, we should be fine for the most part. I'm just gonna bring in, uh, duh, 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 what's it called? Gafoe Merge. So just bring a couple escape dolls just in case, and then you should be good to go. Hmm, a lot of escape dolls. I think it'll be fine. I have one heavenly HP. That's all I need. So let's do five cookies here. And then if chat wants to do something after that, we'll talk about it. This will be in honor of Scribe. We'd like to have at least everybody that has played with us before get a cookie quest at some point. And if you want to extend it, Scribe, by using your own cookies, that's up to you. But I will pay for at least five. Also, I need to actually get the cookies. So if you had more you wanted to burn while playing as this character, pink ID giving ridiculous things, we can extend it. So yeah, no problem. Cookies are best used as groups, and we can help power level you into the next dimension. We'll take it at exactly 5. Leaves me with 52. So in theory... <laughs> in theory, I could power level 3 entire characters. We'll reserve at least 16 for power leveling. Probably more like 32. We'll go forward from here. Here we go. So we'll do underground because it's more XP. So the XP, as you can see, is 320%. A very fair, a very normal amount. Just nod your head. Mm hmm So the only thing we have to make sure is just because we're a little squishier, we just have to make sure to debuff. Otherwise, we are just literally Kofoe stacking the whole time. Uh oh. Try not to die in the run or you'll feel very sad. It's a lot of potential XP missed. They will not mess around. Hello, Gertabulu. So I'll do some grances on them. Is the least with the forces, we do decent damage, so it doesn't take like too too long to kill them. There we go. Demon every now and then just has to trigger. We should be good. Already found a Ven Eggs, nice. Yeah, the reason why this quest is so sick is because of, well, A, the XP. But B, things like V801, Blind Divines, Adib slash Limiters. We can pretty much use one spell almost the whole time. Just gotta make sure every now and then to just kind of freeze. We should be good. Ooh. Okay, I need somebody to cover debuffs other than me. There we go. Oh, I got crit. Rip me. I got a rebuff. So I can survive his normal hit, but not his crit. That's why I brought some escape dolls.
Honestly, I might rearrange where Gafoe is between runs. Look how much Gafoe stacking works here. So good. Almost at 500 XP a second. Pretty good with a scattered team. Enjoy the levels in Parameter. I'm sure you're enjoying getting out of the low levels with Yuka Seal. And again, it's just kind of awkward because like she doesn't get a lot of ATA per level. So she just ends up struggling a lot more than you think she should. Like honestly, I feel like she at most part has worse ATA than Hugh cast due to her terrible, terrible leveling. Unless you have like truly optimal gear adapting her problems away. It's kind of unfortunate. Got Marissa double A already. Ophiel sees. Sadly no hit percentage. So we're just going to do some crowd control for the team. I think we're doing okay for Anguish 1. Nice level ups. Again, we've gotten 120,000 experience. So we've almost caught up to how much TTF gives us already. And like, none of the time. <laughs> I still feel C's. No worries, Tiggy. Enjoy some food. I think after the end of that, we might do a character rush. Where we just level a character from 1 to 80. Although I need some time to set it up, though. So pardon me. I was not expecting to do that at all during the event, but... 50 cookies don't lie. 50 cookies do not lie. You're in no rush. We'll see. I'm my character already made. I just need some time to like equip stuff. Ooh, V801, congratulations. I'm looking for more of those for sure. Okay, let's do some stun locks for the team so we don't get bodied here. Again, this quest is really good drops on top of XP being phenomenal. I'm just unlocking the Grand Detonators. Oh, I'm gonna get there eventually. It will eventually die. Another Glide Divine, congratulations. Trying to throw out Mugrafoes here. Revive Dango through the wall of enemies before getting any kills. Revive Scribe. Emergency Revive for XP. So we've now passed TTF in terms of experience, basically. And besides luck material and move goal, you're who gets ready to go in like 25 minutes here, I'm done with them for a bit. Nice. Yeah, my character, I just need to check who has all the mine materials. And then kind of fix things. And then I just speed eat. I guess the question is... If Hellcleave could confirm, if I make Halloween quest with red ID, is that okay for lower IDs? Or should I have somebody else make it like blue ID? Because I, I know I won't be blue ID. I, I don't have control over that, slash don't want to. Is that with like a red force? Okay. Yeah, so different options get different hue casts. That's fair. We're at 212,000 experience. So we're going to go for a couple of Zalors here. Yeah, the Slicer is going to be difficult to land just because it's Anguish. Mother Garb, nice. 
Helps with reducing TP costs when playing this quest. Speaking of which, this character should probably use Mother Guard. I need one with four slots, though. Placer Fanatic, congratulations. A good find. Finally got your own. Nice, nice. Pink ID is so sick. And lend yours back. Oh. What's up to you? Oh, I, I'm so glad I debuffed. I would have died for sure there. Let's get some freezes in. So eventually, it's going to be Gerdabulu in the middle. I just forget when that wave happens. It'll be double Gerdabulu. Nice level up. See that chat? I'm just powering up all the time. Thank you, Promethean. PSO is sponsored by Promethean. Blue and white, you did want a solo. Well, chat doesn't care about the ID. We can just pick one. Honestly, we don't have to necessarily be optimal with it. So if chat doesn't care, we just do a red ID rush. Some level hot stuff through there. I'm trying to think if there's any other phonumins I wanted. Or if I wanted a different ID level. I'll think about it. Because I definitely have this character bank for two more forces, potentially. I'm just thinking about if there's any ideas I specifically wanted. Yeah, Ignition Cloak is pretty much like the thing that I would want. So if they have Ignition Cloak, that's all I really care about. Jaya, I can hunt Jaya like anytime. Blue, I blue ID as always. Right, I think we're coming up to the Gerda Blue wave, so I'm going to move out of the center of the room. I feel like this is the wave right before it. Too accurate asks, how do you play this? If you do exclamation mark Affinia, or chat can help out with that, that'll link to the download client for the game. It also has links to the Discord that they have. Blue, yellow, orange, interesting. I don't think I have a yellow force. Yeah, this should be double Gerdabulu. Look at that, chat. I haven't played it in a while. I still remember it. You should feel proud of me, chat. I remember it. <laughs> More of NX. I would like an add-up from this, to be honest with you. That would make me very happy, but I doubt it'll happen. Thank you for the demons. So hit 109 from that. Pretty solid. So we ended with 323,000 experience. Just a totally fair, totally normal amount of XP. Very balanced. Mm hmm. Pick up some spare cash, because why not? How many fluids do I have left? Oh, I have so many. I have six tries still. I'm going to take the wart back, just so I can make sure to hand in for cash. The color's back. What did you do? Amazing quest, only second time I've done that. It is so good. I can put the Ophiel Seas in the bank, I guess. So we'll do at least four more. We'll do the Encore performance. So check out a feel for the quest. Anguish one just, like, it makes the cookie worth more. And given that it it's a limited number of quests, time taken on the quest does not necessarily matter. So we'll take our 20,000 there. I'll go ahead and set up another quest. We'll do a Ziggy Cookie. So we're still getting event eggs. Sadly, I think the drop percentage doesn't stack with uh, the Halloween quest. I think it should because rare percentage does. I forgot to ask about that in the forum if that was intended. <laughs> if chat wants to ask on my behalf, by all means. Well, oh, thank you for following Too Accurate. So yeah, Finia is free to play. Uh, once you have the site there, uh, 
We have other guides. If you do exclamation mark PSO guide or guides, plural. Uh, we have some basic ones talking about different character classes. Uh, we have a couple guides talking about controller setup stuff. So something more specific to like the PC version if you're used to the older versions. So if you're looking to assign, for example, commands to the 0 to 9 at the bottom, which was not really a thing in like the GameCube version, for example. It's all there for you. Okay, so the game is up for the team. Let me double check something. So yeah, I'd have to kind of move my techniques around. I have almost... Oh, I have literally 99 in here. Oh, that'll save me some time then. Okay. So I mostly just need to take away the spare techniques. Okay. You played the Xbox version? Perfect. So this will include... Uh, you're probably used to episode 1 and 2, but this one will include 4. In that case. And episode 4 is a lot of fun for forces. It's okay for casts, as long as they have some support. Hunters actually do okay there as well. A lot of rangers don't like it, because there's anti-ranger tech in there. But I'm like, come on. <laughs> they're, they're still good at it, though. So whatever. Yeah, double adept, Gafoe merge. Disgusting. So we'll wait for Scribe. There we go. Get the slicer back after cookies, no problem. I'm glad the slicer fanatic helped you out. Again, a really great pickup for new players and even high level players. Slicer Fanatic absolutely stomps Gertabulu. So having that versus these Gertabulus is kind of bonkers. Okay, so let's move on. Uh-oh, where's Dengo? Oh no, I don't want to kill them. Where's Dengo? Oh, there's Dengo. I got worried. Like, no, Dengo, the XP, it's so beautiful. Let's go away from here, maybe. Speaking of the guy to request access for the download for that program. What do you mean, for Joy to Key? I don't recall requesting access. Zap zap these. That died so fast. Let me check out. Let me check between runs. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, team healed me. Never mind. No longer dead. Nice level up. I know it. I know it likes to say like it. It prompts me if I want to update or give feedback, but I don't remember doing any sign up stuff with it. Hopefully, that'll get resolved. Bowie these out of the existence. Could get so much Gafoe sacking in. It's so disgusting. Yeah, we're gonna let other team member members handle the Goron detonator. We're just gonna focus on Gafoe spam. So we're basically optimized for it. We'll do one zap here. <laughs> we can afford to do one less zap, that's fine. Get rid of these enemies. I imagine a lot of the same principles would work for the Steam guide. I could try to learn it with Steam. I just don't like connecting Steam with other personal accounts, to be honest. Fly Divine, nice. Let team kill that zoo. Keep up time. Congrats on 171 scribe. Imperi meter climbing from 108 to 110. Dango slowly getting towards 138. Wow, those Marissa's absolutely exploded. So we peaked above 600 XP a second briefly there. 
That's the power of the Gafoe stack. It cares not for fairness. Team's really good at switching targets. Love that. And I'm going to be just stacking these mostly, just because it chips them out. You can see, even though their weakness is not necessarily fire, we still did half health with the Power Goron. Just got to get a couple of Grances in there. Ooh, that was a perfect slicer. Uh, I'm going to take damage here, I think. Ooh, got lucky there. Could have been much worse. But team kill those. I just don't have the roll MST, I think, to use the other spells. Unless I think it'll end the wave early. And again, that's a lot of damage we just did to the Marissas with their stacks. Well, time drop, not bad. This is a wave we should assist on a little bit. So we'll try to freeze. Zap, zap. Your Bowie. Get a little debuff in here so we don't get destroyed. I'm going to stunlock the Grand Detonator so the team can focus on the others. I think that's my goal here. So I could do some chip damage to Gertabulu. It's not likely to be much. The team will pick up here. Go back to Gafoe stacking. Ooh, got knocked over. That's okay, I'll just do wake up Gafoe and die. Rip me. See, this is why I brought escape dolls. Even if team can't revive, it's all good. I got very greedy. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna freeze. Nice, I got triple Gafoe out before they landed. Always an exciting endeavor just to nuke them instantly. Hello, lone Goron detonator. Let me grant you a couple times. And again, as long as we're not immediately against the Gorons, our sect. Bowie waves will actually matter here. Other photon draw. How far am I from max MST? Actually, not too far off anymore. Been 100. It's not too bad. So, very gradually, my damage is going upwards. On Gooder Bulu, this is a good opportunity to go pick up some escape or photon drops before I lose them. Yeah, we know that after this wave, it's going to be Marissa's. So, we'll, we'll weaken this wave a little bit for the team. So it's important we help with the Gertabulu a little bit. Then we'll go back to some stacks once I see the health is down. Back to stacks. That is not the right stack. It did slow them down though. Okay, that worked. I'm gonna move a little closer to the center. With, like, Quadra Forces, they just die instantly. Congrats, Tango, on 138. I'll double-check, Tango, the Joy to Key Link. Is it simple for? I don't remember doing anything special for it. I'll probably include that in the video if it's not there already. Ooh, they exploded. Love to see it. Rip the zoo. You're so dead, zoo. Get grants. Cool. So again, this is going to make a parameter's job even easier. We'll see. I mean, I'd love to know. I haven't touched Droidiki in a while. Had it for a couple years. Ooh, got bodied. So if I gotta redo it, it's not the end of the world. I'd just rather know. Good of you. I 
I think the same principles apply across the controller stuff, though. It's just how you specifically do it is a little bit different. So I think everything else in the video is still very relevant. Talking about the different control slots, for example. All right, so we know we're gonna get Greta Boot Loot, so we're gonna get we're gonna leave the middle. We're mashing that Gazan chat. Get stun locked, idiots. GG. Hello, Greta Bulus. Who's the lore you? Ooh. <laughs> I, I felt a little targeted there, chat. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was just like the wall of ice descended upon me. GG. That is a lot of escape dolls. I guess I should pick some up. Oh, the music fell asleep. Wake up, music. So many escape dolls. I mean, I, I literally want all of them, so we're just gonna pick these up. Am I doing a trim to try fluids? Five? That's fine. A couple escape dolls away in the bank. So I got three more of these. And then we'll potentially mix it up. So I'm gonna hand in the quest. I'm gonna check Joy to Key downloads for Dango. So I'm gonna briefly quit out of the game because I don't want to add to the timer. I'm really curious how long it'll take this character to hit 200 or whatever. Just give me one second. Joy to Key. Destroy the key, download, disclaimer. The latest version can be found here. Are you sure, Dango? I just got the setup here. I didn't have to do anything for it. Is there so is this something after you ran the installer it forced you to do something? Because it's not something I have to set up with like keys. I never registered it, I guess the best way to put it. Remove that. Check my guide real quick. Bomber head to the music a little bit. Yeah, is that, I, uh, I, I don't remember if I did manual installation versus the installer. I don't know if it matters. I'll put the link in the chat for those that are curious. Just use this one. I didn't even register, as I said before. I'm unregistered with it. Download the installer, execute when you download. Yeah. You can freely download it and evaluate without any limitation, but after crawl, please consider purchasing a license key. Yeah, I never bothered making the license key. It said please consider, and not saying required. So I don't think I did anything there. Just double checking. So let me make sure my own YouTube video has a, a link to that. I might not have put it there. So I have terrible foresight. Let's do Joy to Key. What are the sound effects during this? All right, I'm going to update the description. The joy to key is now there. That just kind of makes sense to add to the YouTube video, honestly. <clears throat> okay, back in we go.
five, five hours in, almost 1.30. What a ridiculous character. Back into block two we go. Love that Imperameter is 112 already. You're getting you're getting through the uh the painful levels of the Hue New World at least. Does your ATP gradually climb up a little more? Bit better accuracy for Slicer if you're not capped. Forgot fluids, no worries. So three cookies left. Unless Scribe is extending. Give Scribe a couple minutes. <clears throat> they DC'd, unfortunately. Rip scribe. Got five cookies. Not five cookies. Five dolls there. I don't think I have ad slots in my other character bag. To double check. I might have to convert bronze badges to ad slots again. Because that's all they I basically use them for. Already cookies? No, I'm just fine for what I'm doing for ultimate. Steam Deck Occasional Jank? Oh, okay. We're not remotely close. We've only used three cookies so far. Well, welcome back, Promethean. I guess I could make a yellow ID force. I was just thinking, yellow and sky? I think of the last IDs I don't really have. So I could make a yellow slash sky Phonumen. I think Hellcleave mentioned yellow ID gets Ignition Cloak, right? You just spawn 50 more cookies. Promethean's a monster. So yeah, I'll make a yellow. So we have red, pink, yellow, and then sky. I would have preferred white ID force there, but that's fine. That's kind of hindsight. I would have liked to have done the rainbow colors. Oops, all cookies, apparently. I think I should be good try fluid wise, because I'm still leveling pretty often. So yeah, it's like I could make my final slot sky. I think from a thematic purpose, I would want it to be white ID, so that way I have like the red hot colors all together. Which would have made more sense. So I guess it's really up to me if I feel like uh, restarting any of my forces. I have enough materials to do it, just to fix their slots. I would have preferred that we could have messed with our character bank order a little bit. But I understand if they don't want to do it. For me, I would be very happy. If they ever released that, I would fix my character orders so badly. So that way I put like all the cool colors together. Because I didn't think I would be making this many characters when I started, for sure. I don't remember what yellow ID Force even gets. Might have been Daylight Scar Episode 4 runs or something. I'm just trying to think of things I don't normally run. I'm assuming it's something like that. And technically, they would be okay at Endless. Speed it up a little with Rebardas. Because we're far enough away, they should walk into the stack of Foey. Indeed, they did. Couple grants on this to speed it up. If 
Parameter already 112. Congratulations, Imperameter. Take that, Marissa. Even with Anguish 1 HP, the Gapoe stack is too powerful. Hello, Lizards. Oh, you're getting melted. Oh, like butter chat. Just gone. They're getting cooked. I was gonna say, I'm hoping be by the time we stop using, uh, ooh, stop using cookies, one of us gets a limiter. One day I would like to break my no limiter streak, but I would at least like to see the chat get one. Because technically the Gerdabulu drops it. Because again, this quest is crazy. Basically every enemy drops something that you would want. Yeah, Promethean seems done with the game. <laughs> like, I geared what I wanted. Now I just have the surplus. Oh, I should grant a couple times, actually, to speed this up. One more grants. <laughs> Can I hold, like, 500 PD? <laughs> oh, oh, item with hit, but sadly. No special. So no matter what it is, it's useless. Disappointing. I need to pick up that event egg eventually. Yeah, I could make a yellow force first. Because that I think I don't have anybody covering. Like, I think that legitimately don't even have one. Red force, I would feel kind of bad getting rid of uh, Dumpling. Dumpling still has her purpose. I do actually like doing boss rushes with her. So I don't want to feel like I'm replacing her. But I can leave a placeholder for that. And I don't mind yellow ID because it follows that red color scale I was going for. So if I want to do, like, blue purple sky other color on the other ones or like a green in there potentially rearrange them so in theory i could replace all my character banks with uh the alternate forces if i wanted to and then leave my character bank seven open for hue cast slash raw casts because I do like those characters. Or potentially another Ramar. I'm just getting bodied by this enemy. Rude. Time to start Granson. You're gonna auction a 30 or 48 caliber just for cookies? That is commitment. Promethean felt offended that I talked about having too many cookies. It's over. It was taken personally. From Ethan proving undisputed Cookie King champion. <laughs> Goodbye, these enemies. Congratulations on 113 to Imperameter. That's five levels so far. Cookie Conqueror. Yeah, we gotta start inventing titles. I feel like I'm at least on the list. I, I definitely not number one for sure. Cause I, I have purchased like 80 something cookies last year. It's not a small amount. We burned them all on stream. Promethean has then eclipsed it, of course. <clears throat> Baker, yeah, pretty much. Ooh, where's the rare rappy? There it is. Oh, I got spooked. Oh, I got spooked. That's such a shame. That is such a shame. I tried walking towards it to stop it from getting spooked, but it wasn't fast enough. Baker class. 
Maybe VA, correct? I like that. Yeah, you you've you've definitely matched it. I think you've given me I think a, maybe literally a hundred at this point. And I've purchased eighty separately. So I, I went through a lot of cookies. But uh you definitely have given more than I could go through. <laughs> but it'll take some time. We'll catch up eventually. Rip that rare rappy. I don't care about its drop, I just wanted the XP. Oh well. The Gafoe stack has betrayed us. Fly Divine, nice. Uh, I'll probably just rebarda this a little, actually. Yeah, there we go. Our way team can focus on a couple enemies. Nice level up. Congrats to Dango. Team's going in. Nice try, Marissa's. I was already stacking a Bowie. Checkmate. Parameter at 114 from 108. Oh, second to last wave, so we need to make sure to get out of the middle. The last chance for me to potentially pick up a slicer. Technically, if I get one with decent hit, it might not be bad for certain characters. Oh, I like that freeze, got him. Oh, you started 106? My bad, I thought you started 108. Just leveling too fast. I lost track. Now we just spam Grants until they all die. <laughs> Grants army! Alright, so let's go find all these lovely materials that are in here somewhere. Listen how excited the music is. Oh man, that means chat gets to design my yellow ID for us, because I don't have one set up for that. So we have, uh... Red, pink... Oh, I could do orange, yellow. I don't have, like, a really strong orange for us. If I wanted to. I have, like, a faux neural who's fine. But if I wanted to bring orange ID into, like, mines, I probably wouldn't bring her there. Oh, I haven't played orange ID episode 4 in forever. I just realized. Maybe that one was the Daylight Scar. I'm gonna put a question mark there. I feel like orange has to be Daylight Scar. Episode 4. Now I don't know what yellow is. I'm gonna look that up in just one minute. Also, there are so many materials to pick up. I mean, I like it. There are a lot. Pick up a trap vision? <laughs> yeah, I did. Getting trolled by the game. We're gonna go ahead and junk that heavenly body. We don't need those. Three team points. So we're gonna make sure to talk to the guy to get our money. Two more pink ID runs. Django's character powering up. Sky probably not too far from leveling, if I had to guess. I would imagine within one quest, needing you don't need more than 600,000. Uh-oh. Somebody posted a link. Promethean, I think, got deleted. We're Promethean. Yeah, by default, links are not permitted. It went, nope. I could do... I wonder if this works. There you go, Promethean. <clears throat> Whatever you wanted to share. Oh, the auction site? Nice, nice. There we go. I guess if anybody's interested in the 30 hit X Cal. It's technically funding the stream, slash funding Promethean, slash funding cookies. Sort a little bit. Yellow ID does boss runs for episode 4.
Have I done challenge? I have never done challenge mode before. On any episode. I love that people have barely seen me play. They know I don't like episode two. <laughs> I try. I try, Chad. I'm trying to be more open to it, but <clears throat> I still don't like it. So we'll wait since we need scrub in here. Oh, Orange gets lame to Argent, not Daylight Scar. Okay. I was like going back and forth. I'm like, what? How? where are they getting? Oh, I kind of want a yellow ID for Newman, actually. Like, un unironically. It's kind of everything I want to run. So Underground gets Girasol chances, which is what I want. Swordsman lore is okay. Galatine is what I want. Daylight Scar. Oh, yeah. I'm on doing some of those later. What's my take on episode 3? I have never played the card game. Maybe on stream. I think I did ask if people wanted to do some spin-offs. I'm open to trying it in the future if there's interest in me trying it. It'll probably be the next Friday game if I had to guess. Because we're already playing kind of card games on Friday anyway. So like, I might try challenge mode at some point. I know I was very unhappy with a certain set of changes, and then I was sick. And since then, I think the quality of life has gone up significantly. So I think things have basically neutraled down. I think one of my most viewed videos, aside from the power leveling of force, is where I, where I complained about the uh, control updates, if I recall correctly. I guess because people were coming back from a break or something. I think I called it like Brief Thoughts On, and that was the name of the video. Rip Dango. Because I was talking about the policy update at the time. Because I didn't want to go into like long details, so people could go back to that if they want to see what I feel about it. My opinion on it has not changed very much since then. But at least I'm still able to do things like Joy to Key, so I'm happy with that. As long as I'm not abusing rapid things. Because again, I always thought the language... I Even today, I think the language is still ambiguous, whether it allows turbo. And I see people ask that like every three months. Because if it was clear, people wouldn't keep asking. <laughs> just by definition. I'm not sure why they can't just explicitly put that in the notes, to be honest. Or whatever. I think turbo gambling is technically allowed if it's attended. I think was my last takeaway from the notes. But please check what they mentioned in the Discord before you take my word for it. Because that has come up, as I said before, time and time again. But I refuse to do it, just in case I misunderstood it. So there will be no more turbo gambling for the rest of the PSO life cycle. Rip. Yeah, the Joy to Key video very briefly goes over how to do it if you were interested. But as I said before, I just want to make sure I'm not misunderstanding the rules, so that's why I didn't put it in my main video or in my current control set. Oops, that's not Gafoey. I mean, I'd probably have some fun with it. I I generally have some part some fun with the card games. What's your Yashmenikov 9k, by the way, Promethean? Does it have, like, ridiculous hit or something? Is it, like, fully speared 80 hit or something? Rip all these. Nice level up. Sixty hit? Nice, nice. Rip the Zeus. A couple more Gapoe stacks here. Gorons will walk into that at least. We did our job. Let's ice them to slow them down a little. Nice. 
couple of Grances, switch back to Gafoe. Good job, team. Sixty hit is quite nice. Oops. Parameter says O. Oh. It's up there in the fifteen hundred range. Oh, a slicer fanatic, did it come with hit? If so, that's kind of nice. Yeah, another slicer. You'd love to see those. Like, even zero would hit. Oh, no hit. That's fine. Even, like, zero hit Slicer Fanatic is really good. Just so people that haven't seen that weapon before understand. When you do the Slicer Bug, and you're a Ranger, you're always going to hit it. Because you're using your normal accuracy to hit an enemy, which might as well as just say, I will always hit. You might as well as just translate it to, I will never miss. I mean, you you could get away with literally 15 hit if you want to. I don't even think it would impact any run at all, unless you're doing something stupid like, I don't know, like the fidget spinner enemies in episode two. That's like the only enemy I could see really giving you any issues. And even then, I don't think you would use demons on them. Not in that sense, anyway. But for every other character, it's kind of nice. Only, like, maybe Fomar or Fomar care about a little bit of accuracy. But most hunters will have enough base accuracy that it doesn't matter. Rangers definitely don't care. Imagine converting 1500 PDs to cookies. A lot of cookies. Dango 139, congrats Dango. And Parameter 115, congrats and Parameter. So many Gafoe stacks. Wanna borrow a 40 hit LNK? Oh no. It's near him. Um... Bow them all down with the Gatling gun. Let's deep up him a little. Ooh, bodied. Rip the power Gorons. Oh, this Girder Bulu is so hosed. We're gonna do a couple of Grances here just to speed it up. And then we know the Marissas are- Oh, wow, that died instantly. Okay, we gotta spam Gafoe now. Get these Marissas away from us ASAP. Our priority is damage. There we go. Nice stack from the team. Chat buffing D-Van first. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm kind of far from them. I should move in a little more. Yeah, that's better. I guess after the Marissas, I should hold off on Gafoe spamming. Rather have to steal J Sword for leveling. Nice, nice. That's more of a pipe dream rare. I, I don't think I'll get that item before I stop playing, to be honest. I would assume at some point I will get Cycle Wand. As I slip it into enough runs as an ult run rare, I will probably eventually get it. And I still spend some time on uh, purple hunts for them. In addition to blue ID stuff. And in theory, I could eventually get the Ajito 1975, because I play enough runs where it could theoretically pop up. The others I just... I don't know, it's like play a lot of episode 2 versus Gaigui's. Not very likely for me to do. I'm never gonna this. Oh no. Yeah. I think I told the the, the chat about it before. Nice 172. But uh, I was grinding those Christmas resets for uh, Purple ID. Disgusting, disgusting number of resets. I was not happy afterwards because I got like nothing. The feeling of going three hours of grind and not seeing a rare lily during Christmas event was the worst feeling in the world. Just want you to know, chat. My hatred for rare enemy hunts only grows more intensely. 
I'm so over them as a concept. But if there's other hunts that happen to have something, like they are good enough on their own and sometimes they have a rare enemy drop, that's fine. Kind of like how green ID and yellow ID get uh, Dwarf on Eclair drops. Like, I'm not going to hunt Dwarf on Eclair specifically for them, but it's nice that it's there. The stun lock is real. But Chan has also seen my luck with the uh, Gal Griffin wing. Ooh, the crit. I should be good in case team has no revives. Sulfurino, nice. So I think we see most of the rares that are possible now. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> Death approaches me. I'm actually stun locking both of them. That's kind of nice. GG. Take a dive fluid. We'll take some of the materials. So I could do pink, red, yellow, orange phonumens instead of white ID, and then I could do like purple, blue, sky, white as the other set. Maybe that would be cool. And then green or Viridian or whatever. <laughs> I guess that would make sense if we're doing like cool colors. So I guess I could redo my character bank stuff eventually. That's going to take forever, because they have like full banks. So we'll see. That that motivation is down the line, I think. That's when I'm truly done and I would like more forces to play with. Although the question is, is if I make another blue ID force, do I really make it another Phonumen or just change it up a little? Because I already have a blue force. Pick up that photon drop and I think we're good to go. Uh, this away. I feel like most of my extra ra characters should just be rangers at this point. I don't feel like I have really good gear for them, though, to do that. I feel like I'm a very long way away from having good rangers. I guess in theory, I mean, I have a block of four. Like, my block seven would probably be rangers for the most part. I'm just not sure what rangers I would put together in the final block. I might even just delete my Humar, to be honest. Kind of of that opinion. I wanted to have one of every class, but I'm like, I really don't use them at all. Okay. So last cookie quest, unless we get an extension. And then I'll, I guess we'll set up to make a yellow ranger. Or force, I mean. Which I actually do not have at all. I have orange. White, green, viridian, blue, red. Pretty much all the, all the main ones, even purple. But no yellow. You'll extend by one. Cool, cool. Oops. Spend my last cookie here. Warps open. Rip these enemies. I'm sure Parameter is happy to go up like literally eight levels. That's a lot less Hue Neural suffering for sure. Nothing can really top the Cookie Quest XP. It's too powerful. 
The Inherent Modifiers, Episode 4. So many factors going for it. Vene, congratulations. So at least I could say we did some pink ID hunts. Now this character will be used a lot when it comes to potentially Christmas. Since I do like pink ID runs uh, for the Christmas fiasco stuff. There are a lot of Gerdabulus there. Mama found a Jito, nice. Rip all the Gorons here. Chat talking about all the PDs that they have. Yeah, definitely the people that are active in the trades have way more than me. Although, I think for a normal player, I have a lot more than most. Since I'm sitting on, like, almost 500 PDs. That is a lot to just have casually sitting around. Rid of these. I forget if I have a, I might have a photon I might have a port, photon horde as well. I remember trying to figure out how to do it, so I might still have that without having split it back up. I should probably do that quest again. Just so I can group them all together on one character. So at this point everybody the character banks are getting filled up and I don't feel like hunting all my characters for it. Yeah, they. once you get to 99, it's like, I have to do, what was it, the Gallon Shop quest to stack them? If I remember correctly, that was a new addition to Affinia that did not exist before. I think I have the opposite. See, I was going to say, Promethean Hellcleave, I have the opposite for me. I have, like, no reason to spend them. Well, I have reason to spend them, I just don't use them. They just sit there unloved. Potentially for years. Gathering dust. Supersonica asking, what is the hunt now? Uh, V801, Slicer Fanatic, Adept, Bazillions of XP. <laughs> Maybe you'll feel seized with hit, I guess. Big ID is kind of busted, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, what What doesn't this quest get? Yeah, see, I think most of my early PDs, before I knew, like, about the trading economy, just went to four stuff. So I, I, like, made, like, three magical pieces, because I just never traded. And it definitely slowed the gameplay down, because I did enjoy them, but, like, that 50 PD could have been, like, my first Candid Rouge. A decent heaven striker, etc. So like if I if I had wanted to make them back up, it would have been better for me to, to have done that. But on the plus side, I did find most of my own items. I've just gotten a lot of upgrades from trades because I don't feel like playing the RNG game that heavily. So at least we have found our own Cannon Rouge eventually, our own Excalibur eventually. Those kinds of things. Did some Galatine hunts. Uh, we did one, and then we, uh, got a lot of cookies. So that changed what we were doing. I'm thinking, though, if we level up the yellow ID Forest, I do want to do Galatine hunts with that character. The Daylight Scar Galatine alternate is actually kind of exciting to me. Like, that that would be enticement for me to continue with the uh, episode 4. So we might do a level 1 character thing into that. Quite, this character is so busted. S parts, nice, nice. So much XP. Congratulations, Dango, on hitting 140. 
Wait, did we... Did the music pause or did we actually legitimately complete the soundtrack? I, I'm not sure, chat. We were pretty far in the soundtrack. We'll find out in a second. Did we do it? Did we finish the Olympics? Oh my gosh, we finished the Olympics, chat. We did it. Anyway, next game. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> wow, that was such a soundtrack. That, that soundtrack was literally going on for more than seven hours. I just want you all to know. Like, that is, that is not an exaggeration. It lasted the entire last stream and two hours and 36 minutes of the stream, which is insane. That is a long soundtrack. So enjoy your, like, one game break before we go back to the Olympics. Because <laughs> it's coming, chat. I want you to know, it is coming. Okay, I'm gonna try use I'm gonna try avoiding using Gafoe here. Since I don't want to scare the Rappies. I think this is like the only wave I won't do that. Let's see if we can get them to fall. Rip. Chat talking about stones. Are you talking about the magical heart keys? The keys are definitely 50 PDs, if that's what the question is. I'm assuming. If you're talking about Ratista Stone, I have no idea. I know that from having made three of them and then realizing I could have had much better items for like 150 PDs. Although, I think if you're gonna do it, or at least 10 to 15, maybe. I think uh, they're not too bad with gold badges. So, I, th I think you get a discount with them with gold badges. You did one year. I'm not sure if that's still true. They like changing the price of things. Like, I know for a while, uh, you technically got more... Um, benefit from sphering with gold badges than you did PDs because it was like 95 gold badges for uh one sphere if I remember correctly which means it's not quite 99 so I think they're I think you could get them cheaper per se and plus I think if you do some of the gambles some of the better gambles have it or if you're lucky during the Christmas event, you'll get them. That I remember a couple people did get. A hundred hit magical piece. I'll cleave just flexing now. Put a little Gafoe out there. This should stop them from doing too much. You know the rainbow baton with 85 hit? Nice. I think he's never missing. Okay, second. Second to last wave. Let's get out of the center. It's gonna say you have to assert dominance with your magical piece. <laughs> I would like to see Hellcleave tilt people one day. He's like, here's my magical piece. It's like a hundred hit magical piece with like a hundred dark, a hundred uh machine. <laughs> we're like, we're like, what is this? <laughs> the full tilt, <laughs> a fully sphered magical piece. Either that, or he takes one of his minus fives and brings that up to hundreds of the other attributes. <laughs> Goodbye, the grid we lose. Sadly, no adepts. What a shame. We got one more shot. We're getting a cookie extension here. Let's enjoy the invent eggs and all the bazillions of Meseta material drops that are happening. So I did get another slicer, which is good. It rolled with decent percentages. So that helps a little bit when you're trying to get the last hit in episode 2, where the weapon ATP matters a little more. So that's not bad to have on one of my other characters. Honestly, this character could also, in theory, just keep it. It could just be theirs forever. Yeah, let's do that. Right, how many PDs am I back up to? I was at 32 in the bank a couple streams ago. What am I up to now? 60. All right. Pretty solid. <clears throat> Luke says, I heard there's a stream going on here. Indeed there is. Welcome, Luke. 
Thank you for the cookies again, Promethean. Hopefully you have a good night. <clears throat> we're going to do one more cookie quest. And then we're going to absolutely power level our brains out in about, like three hours. So we'll take a small break. We'll even put a break in the recording so that way people don't sit through like a potentially six hour stream of PSO. And we're going to go take a force from level one to level 80. But I have to do some setup in between, which is a little boring. I have to actually make sure the other character has what I need. So this will be the last cookie quest before we take a very short break into level one shenanigans. So it did... No, it's still rare week. I guess it's one more minute until the rare week ends. Uncle says, worth it if you want a high defense armor. Tiki says, it's worth the PD for the visual effect alone. In reference to what? Let me go back up. I think I missed a comment. Oh, so to answer Scribe, actually, the perfect answer to this, I saved up gold badges for that, and I got a big discount on that. So to be honest with you, if you are interested, it's cheaper to get the virus components with gold badges than to use PDs. So even if you even if you like it, and I do actually like it a lot for Realmar, uh, be aware that it is really, really easy to get with badges. It's one of the ones where you're going to go positive compared to PDs. So unless you get a super good deal on it, it would just make sense to uh, potentially wait till anniversary. It's very strong though. For me, it made for me it made the Ramar. To be honest with you, like the character went from like struggling with Sinos to just bullying them hardcore. Like that's how strong of the armor difference it was. However, Red Ring kind of does a similar thing for the Ramar, so he could survive Sinnoh punches to the face. But having both is just kind of insane. I like it from the niche aspect that uh, if I'm playing Endless and I have both that and Red Ring, I'm basically untouchable with the Force. So the no damage challenges are like way easier. But that that's an extremely use, niche use case, I mean. Uh, so he's going to use the cookie. Wait a little bit. But yeah, for me, I, I like it on the Ramar. I don't know if I would consider it required on like Raw Moral. I think the difference is Raw Moral can at least debuff people. Where Raw Moral just has to quote unquote just take it in the face. So for solo play, I felt like that made it that made his gameplay for me. But again, that was something I waited until I had anniversary badges. Because I think it's like what, normally 20 PDs for it, and I believe with gold badges it's 16 per. And you can also, I think, sometimes get them as part of uh, other events. But yeah, I saved a little bit of PDs that way. So at least if you're going to get a discount, you might as well do that. I know, for example, I bought a cell that way. when I Because I already picked up a couple throughout the different anniversary events. And getting 50 gold badges is not as hard as you think if you're playing ultimate already. If you're not already in ultimate, it might be difficult. Nice level up. Timely. Back to Kafoe spam. Getting slapped by Goron Detonator. There we go. Feeling somebody would kill it eventually. Make sure we debuff them for the team, and we'll go back to this. I think my MST is finally starting to catch up a little bit. Double. Two double Marissa A's. On the double mint twins. <laughs> or whatever. Get out of here. Ophiel sees no hit. Oh, feel sees with it. Okay. Well, I'll take one of those. Rares are just dropping like candy right now. <laughs> candy from an overflowing bag. 
in this Halloween quest. I missed what the banner was. Somebody got a 35 something. More rare moms, rare moms than rare mob week. Listen, I would just like to say, I think rare enemy week is a lie and I choose to do whatever quests I feel like because I'm tired of being disappointed by them. <laughs> Whenever you go for them, it's literally like days of nothing. And then you play like this kind of quest and it's like, hmm, we're gonna boost your rare enemy rate. It doesn't even matter what week it is and you get XP. I believe in the Halloween cookie quest rare enemies, but that's about it. Every other one, I'm like, nah, I don't believe. Non-believer. Oh, I got double hit. That sucked. The shock into that, there was pretty much GG. There's nothing I could do. Even if I, like, really quickly menued, that would have been pretty much lethal. Fortunately, we got escaped off. XP week is the real one for whatever you need. That's also somewhat true. But yeah, I don't bother with rare enemy hunts of rare enemy week. I just call it XP week, but worse. Because I usually don't care about what they give. I really want that material. I'd prefer you stop shooting me so I could find it. There it is. Um, I don't need this many star atomizers to go pick this up. Wait, did we go? There's no way. Hold on, there's no way. How is that the entire soundtrack? Chad, I was hoping... It, it was 14 songs, but it lasted like 20 minutes. It was such a short soundtrack. Give me a second. I mean, you would think on average that would last more than 20 minutes with 14 songs. You would think, chat, but apparently not. But give me a moment. We're going to hear some silence. Okay, this is a good opportunity. Once the Goron Detonators are dealt with, I can check for new music. Congrats to the 119, by the way. We're gonna stun lock with Razond here. Once I get an opportunity, this is a good opportunity. Uh... Okay, this one should hopefully be a real soundtrack. Oh, I just started looking it up. Damn, I get one more opportunity, I think, later. To put on the music. It's hard to do that fast of a lookup and then also play it. So we're gonna be listening to I think it said Rise of Lyric was the next one. So we'll listen to that one next. Put a couple fireballs out for safety. See if I could get YouTube to search it. <sighs> Had to be that wave. I'm gonna believe in chat for a moment. YouTube, please. Alright, it should be playing it. There we go. Okay, Danny Elfman soundtrack. I have never... I'll, I'll take your word. I don't know anything about the game. My extent of knowledge of Sonic games is I've played... three of them... I've seen Sonic 06, and that is the extent of my knowledge. <laughs> no, knowledge ends there. And there are apparently so many as we've listened to Sonic games and spinoffs. A lot of spinoffs. He loves going to the Olympics. We've learned this. He just can't stay away. There we go. Turn parameters happy. 106 to 119. Venture one for the win. I've never played. I think Chad did want me to try that game at some point. But I also commented that I'm super bad at platformers. That is not my forte at all. Yeah, this would have been the other fight I would have potentially waited on. I guess I could switch to Rafoe here to try not to spook the Rappies. Or I could just commit. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter too much. See what happens. I know the Rappies are coming. Try to stand here. Okay, I mean, that made most of them not run. So if I remember this spot for next time, this is a pretty good spot. I 
I mean, most of the time when there is a game that involves platforming, I usually miss a lot of platforms or I clip out of bounds. There's like no in between. It's <laughs> just one of the above will happen when I play those. Then I can go, whoa! I'm sure I'll see messages in the chat that'll be like, it's no use! Nice 141 for Dango. Goodbye, Zoo. Remember when Imperimeter had in like the 900 HP territory? Slowly climbing out of the ditch there of HP. To make solo play much easier. Do some grants here to speed this up. Eh, a couple zaps, why not? As we learned earlier, we actually did more damage fast casting than casting with a fire scepter. Just because if we do frame perfect of Bowie's, the extra Kofoe makes up for the percentage damage difference with Fire Scepter, which I thought was kind of funny. We saw that we literally were doing like 500 less damage. Oh, penultimate wave. We got to get out of the center. Then it's Gerdabulu time. We don't really want to party with the Gerdabulus if we can avoid it. I could fast cast this, but I think I need to fix my tech menu. That, that'll be for another time. Congrats on the level up. Air meter hitting 120. Getting closer to using more armors and such. Here they come. Get a couple dive fluids while we're here. Feel a little targeted. You heal real quick. And no limiters. Rip. <laughs> oh well, we tried. Pink ID put in the work. We were just left wanting though. I got most of what I needed. I'll pick a couple spare grinders if I got room. Yeah, we got a 15 hit OCs. And then kind of a generic one. I'll get rid of the generic one. I don't think I'll ever use the generic one. So we can hold more grinders and such. No problem. Hope you had fun with the runs. Two levels. Not bad for cookie runs. This character, I lost track. Maybe six levels. About one per cookie. These four away. Max out on my materials. I guess I could put the Oatfield Seeds in the main bag. Yeah, we're going to have to do some item shuffling, I think. Oh, you gave me back to Slicer. Thank you. Put that back in the share bank for new players. Another excellent item. Even with zero hits, super strong. One of my favorites. So he already has his permanent add-ups, so maybe I just leave him with those? Question mark. Honestly, I think I only need two more add-ups, but obviously if I get another four, so I'll need more. Because usually at most I want one, and I'll leave one floating in case I'm doing a long quest. Otherwise, like this is mostly fun. Did I have another Rappy Mag with Max Mind? Oh, I have two. Oh. So yeah, I can make another force pretty easy then. Okay, chat. So we're going to spend a couple minutes to set up for the power level for the force. So for people that want to make another character, if Hellcleave is interested in leveling the characters, Tiki's interested in leveling the character, and I think Dango mentioned, I will extend the offer to those players. And then once I'm done with this setup, Chad has to help me make this uh, new faux Newman. <laughs> oh, oops, oops, forgot to talk to hand it in. So yeah, if you need some time for it, don't worry. So I think Dango was talking about maybe creating one. So that'll give Dango some time. <clears throat> yeah, so you you have like 10-ish minutes, Dango. It's not like a super rush, because I have to check all my inventories, which is going to take a while. So let's see bank 8. 
And I guess for now, we'll go ahead and close out. Yeah, use, use some time, so just check your characters out. But let, let's have a quick chat. So we're going to break up the video, so that way people watching can enjoy the ultimate level content. And in a few minutes, we're going to be starting the uh, other ones. Well, thank you for joining us, Scribe. So, how do we think today's session went? Well, I think Scribe got a V801, so that's a pretty good item drop. Scribe also got to enjoy cookie quests for the first time on stream, and then overall went through a lot of cookie quests. So hopefully that helps him towards his journey of equipping a red ring. Uh, we powered up as different characters. We experimented a little bit with Rinov. And yeah, I think today otherwise went well. But we still have more to go. So for those sticking around for the power leveling, stay tuned. But for those watching on YouTube slash the VOD, I think it's time to say goodbye for now. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.